Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Fauci, when is the time? When is the time? Well, in your written statement, you say, now is not the time to pull back on masking, physical distancing, and avoiding congregate settings. When is the time? When do Americans get their freedom back? Can you put your microphone on, please? Sorry. When we get the level of infection in this country low enough that it is not a really high threat. What is low enough? Give me a number. What, I mean, uh, we, we've, we had 15 days to slow the spread, turned into one year of lost liberty. What metrics, what measures, what has to happen before yeah. Americans get my, their freedoms back? My message, uh, Congressman Jordan, is to get as many people vaccinated as quickly as we possibly can to get the level of infection in this country low that it is no longer a threat. That is when. And I believe when that happens, you will see. What determines when? I'm sorry. What? What measure? What, I mean, are, are we just going to continue this forever? Or when, does, when, does, no. when do we get to the point? What measure, what standard, what objective uh, outcome do we have to reach before, before Americans get their liberty and freedoms back? You know, I, you're indicating liberty and freedom. I look at it as a public health measure to prevent people from dying and going to the hospital. You don't think Americans' liberties have been threatened the last year, Dr. Fauci? They've been assaulted. Their liberties have. I don't look at this as a liberty thing, Congressman Jordan. Well, that's I look obvious. At this as a public health thing. But, but, uh, the, I disagree the, with you, you on that. You think the Constitution completely. is suspended during, a, a, during a, a, a virus, during a pandemic? It's certainly not. This will end for sure when we get the level of infection very low. It is now at such a high level, there's a threat again of major Dr. surges. Fauci, Dr. Fauci, over the last year, Americans' First Amendment rights have been completely attacked. Your right to go to church, your right to assemble, your right to petition your government, freedom of the press, freedom of speech have all been assaulted. I mean, for a year now. Americans haven't been able to go to church. Even today, when they go to church, they're limited in the size of, of, of worshipers who can meet. Your right to assemble? Oh, my goodness. We had a curfew last fall in Ohio. You had to be in your home at 10. In Pennsylvania, you had to be in your home. Uh, when you're in your home, you had to wear a mask. In Vermont, when you're in your home, you didn't have to wear a mask, Dr. Fauci, because you weren't allowed to have yeah. people over to your house. Yeah. Yeah, Congressman Jordan. Your ability to petition your government well, for a year, for a year, American citizens haven't been able to come to their capital to petition their government to talk to their representatives and freedom of the press. These very pictures that Representative Scalise just showed you and talked about, guess what? The press isn't allowed in those facilities. The press is not, the Biden administration will not let the press in there. And certainly freedom of speech. I mean, freedom of... A governor of our third largest state meets with, with physicians, and, that, and that's, that, that video is censored because they dare to agree, disagree with Dr. Fauci? So I just want to know, when do Americans get their First Amendment liberties back? You know, I don't think anything was censured because they felt they couldn't disagree with me. I think you're, pers you're pers making this a personal thing, and it isn't. It's not a personal thing. No, you are. That is exactly what you're doing. No, your recommendations carry a lot of weight, Dr. Fauci. We just had the, the chair of yeah. the Financial Services Committee said she loves you, and you're the greatest thing in the world. Will My the recommendations yield? are consistent. Will the gentleman yield? No, it's my, it's my now, time. Can I answer the question, please? My recommendations are not a personal recommendation. It's based on the CDC guidance, which is which is And which I'm asking the question, what measures have to be attained before yeah. Americans get their First Amendment liberties back? I just told you that. I no, you haven't you. given anything specific. You said, we hope when this third... Tell me specifically. Right, now, have to be right now, we have about 60,000 infections a day, which is a very large risk for a surge. We're not talking about liberties. We're talking about a pandemic that has killed 560,000 Americans. I, I, and That's I get what that, we're Doc, talking about. And, and I don't disagree with that. And I, and I understand how serious that is. But I also stand it's pretty serious when businesses have been shut down. People can't go to church. People can't assemble in their own homes with their friends, with their families. People can't go to a loved one's funeral. People can't get to their government, petition their representative to redress their grievances. Right. I also understand the First Amendment is pretty darn important. And it's been a year. And I want to know when right. Americans will get those First Amendment liberties right. back. Well, you just said people cannot assemble in their own homes. They can. That's a CDC recommendation for vaccination. Not last people. fall they couldn't. I'm, I didn't hear Not that. last fall they couldn't. 
I, I didn't hear what he said. The gentleman's time has expired. Um, I'll give you one instance of when we can get our liberties back. It's when 90 percent of the members I, of the United States Congress get vaccinated. Well, I want to know if that's what Dr. Fauci is. Is it 90 percent, Dr. I'm, Fauci? Is it 90 percent? That's what I'm. That, that's what I'd like to know. Give me some. Give us some objective standards versus when certain things get reached, we might be able to get back to having our liberty. When? What are the numbers? Well, You're going to see a gradual. Uh, from the right now, we're at an unacceptably high level. We're at, on a daily basis. It's unacceptably high, regardless of who you are. What you're going to see as more and more people get vaccinated, and we get over three million people a day. You're going to see the level of infection come down and down, and gradually there will be more flexibility for doing the things that you're talking Where about. Where does it get to? When it comes down, what number do we get our liberties back? Tell me the number. Tell when me the number. When 90 percent of the members of Congress get vaccinated. But you're not a doctor, Mr. Clyburn. He is. What is the number? I can't Thank give you for recognizing me, Mr. Clyburn. Thank the you. Chair now recognizes the uh, for five minutes. I'd like minutes. my question Ms. answered. I don't, I don't want, reclaiming I don't want, my time. I reclaiming my time. Regular order. Regular order. No, regular order. No, if, just a moment. Mr. 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 Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I don't want you to answer my question. The American people want Dr. Fauci to answer well, the question. But what does well, it have to be? Expire, sir. If you need to respect the chair and uh -oh. shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about this. We, we, we're going to handle this. And I think Mr. Jordan knows me very well, and he knows full well that we're going to handle this. Your time has expired, and the chair now recognizes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.